This video introduces the layout container and how to set up a very basic layout on a page. Layouts can get complicated very quickly, so the web team at LSA Technology Services encourages you to contact us for support with setting up layouts. We can also furnish you with pre-formatted pages at your request. Please have a look at the model pages on the training website. The layout container is a component which is designed to help you organize your pages into sections, such as rows and or columns. You can do this by adjusting the sizes of components when the components are inside a layout container, or by adjusting the size of the entire container. It seems simple enough, but it can get messy very quickly, which is why we have these pre-formatted pages for you. Still want to take a shot at this? Well then let's get started. By the way, if you're following along on a smaller screen like a laptop or other small device, your results may vary. This video, as well as the pages in the AEM training on Canvas, shows the layout container procedure in a full desktop view. We encourage you to create a new page either on the training site or on your own site if you no longer have access to the training site. Use the LSA subpage with layouting template. On the new blank page, you'll see two empty boxes, one shorter in width and one spanning the entire page that say, drag components here. These are drop zones. Please ignore the wider drop zone for this tutorial. Add a layout container component to the smaller drop zone. You may either drag and drop the component from the side panel or click on the drop zone and use the plus. Another drop zone that appears identical to the first will appear. Your new layout container is the upper one. If you move your mouse over it, a blue outline will appear with the words layout container in the lower right corner. Next, we'll put some components inside the layout container. For this demo, I'll use accordions. Drag the component over the drop zone until you see a blue outline and half circle with an arrow in it appear above the drop zone, but don't drop it yet. Watch carefully as that outline and arrow will appear above the drop zone in two places, depending on your mouse position. We want to drop the component into the drop zone that appears to be the more inside of the two outlines that appear. How do we know if the component is inside the layout container? We can make sure it's in the right place by opening the side panel and selecting the icon that looks like layers. This shows us a thing called the content tree. Is accordion indented below the layout container? If it is, then it's inside. Let's add another accordion, but this time I'll drop it in the wrong place so you can see the difference. We'll see how to fix this in a moment. But first, let's add one more accordion inside the layout container. This time should be easier since we can watch for the outline and arrow around the accordion that's already there and just drop the new accordion on top of it. Now for the fun part. We have two components inside a layout container, each spanning the full page width. We want to reduce their widths so they can be side by side. Switch to layout view and click the first accordion. When blue dots appear on the right and left edges, slide the right edge to the left to make the accordion smaller. Using the grid lines to guide you, make the accordion half as wide as the available space. Repeat this with the second accordion. You might have guessed, there's more than one way to do this. Return to Edit View and refresh your screen. Click one of the accordions and from the menu that appears, select the double-sided arrow all the way to the right. This produces the same blue dots that let you adjust the component width. In the AEM course on Canvas that this video supports, you're encouraged to add another accordion to the layout container with the two already there and adjust its borders. The purpose of the exercise is for you to experience how AEM, a computer program, responds to the adjustments you make. You may have to think like a computer in order to get the hang of using the layout containers. Remember that the web team is here to help you and we have those pre-formatted pages if you decide not to set them up yourself. You can usually fix this mess by opening the content tree and readjusting the widths of your components, starting with the one that appears at the top. AEM considers this the first one, and will always put it as close to top left as it can following left to right reading order. To keep things from getting out of hand, 
We recommend using the dots on the right sides of components to adjust them. Let's return to the content tree, the misplaced component, and what to do when your component ends up outside the container. In the content tree, I'll find the accordion that is not inside the layout container by looking for one that isn't indented. If I click on Accordion here in the content tree, the editing menu for the component appears over that component on the page. This will help us figure out which accordion is the one we want to move. Sometimes the easiest thing to do is just delete and try again. You won't lose any content if the component hasn't been configured yet. Click the component or find it in the content tree and click it there. When the menu appears, choose the delete icon, the trash can, confirm delete, then try adding it again. What if the component is already configured and you don't want to delete it? Try drag and drop or cut and paste the component into the container. Depending on your comfort level, you may prefer copy paste instead of cut and paste. Let's try out these methods. For best results, locate the component you want to move in the content tree and click it. On the page, the toolbar will appear and the component will be outlined in blue. Ignore the toolbar here. Drag and drop the component into the layout container, taking care to observe the half circle and arrow position as demonstrated earlier in this video. Check the content tree to confirm that the component is indeed inside the container. Let's cut and paste this time. Again, locate the component you want to move in the content tree and click it. On the page, the toolbar will appear and the component will be outlined in blue. Click the cut icon, scissors, or the copy icon, the two little squares. And then in the content tree, locate the layout container you meant to add the component to. Click on the layout container in the content tree and the container toolbar will appear outlined in blue. But wait! Don't click the paste icon in that toolbar. The outline shows you where the container is, but to paste into it, you must then move your mouse to the drop zone inside the container. Click where it says drag components here, and then paste by clicking the paste icon, the clipboard. Check the content tree to confirm that the component is indeed inside the container. It will appear indented below layout container. By the way, copy-paste will come in handy for you if you're configuring multiple components similarly. For instance, a row of tiles with the same margin settings. Save yourself a little work by adding and configuring just one tile and then copy-paste it as many times as you need. Then later you would update the other settings, like the link in the background. We have one more layout option to cover. Most websites are now put together using responsive design. This means that the appearance of the site might change, depending on what size device you're using to view it. AEM allows you some latitude in customizing how your pages look on a desktop, a smaller laptop or tablet, and a smartphone. We'll switch to Layout View using the drop-down under Edit. In the ruler that appears, we can see our default view, which is Desktop. Try clicking Medium Viewport and iPhone 6, which applies basically to all phones and small devices, and watch how the components shift. You may find all three views acceptable, but if not, you can adjust the layouts in medium viewport without affecting desktop or the phone view, and you can adjust the phone view without affecting desktop or medium viewport. You're an expert now at adjusting components, so let's try adjusting the accordions in medium viewport and in the smallest viewport. Technology Services is here to support you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email our help desk at lsatechnologyservices at umich.edu.